Right, good morning everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. So today is a rest day. What have we got in store? Well, follow along in the video and I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing on my rest day. It's really important to take some time to let your bodies have rest if you're doing full training or not. I started the day off by doing the little habits that I want to do, did some breathing exercises, went outside, got a little bit of fresh air. But one thing that didn't go to plan, I formatted the SD card on my camera, which I lost some of the footage. Luckily enough, only a few clips from yesterday, but you know, it can play on your mind, but it's a battle there. And once you've done something, there's no point in holding onto it. So I've let go of it. And we're gonna continue on with the day. Let's tuck into this porridge now. Yeah, so just going through my wardrobe today and getting rid of stuff that I don't need. Like for instance, like is this Adidas running jacket, perfectly good condition. Can go to a better home, somebody who wants to use it, rather than just sitting in my wardrobe. So rather than clustering your life, it's really good just to go through your wardrobe every so often. Obviously there are some stuff, you know, like bib shorts that are broken, they'll go to the bin or I'll try and upcycle them, maybe make something out of it. The name's Mark. Running with Mark. There we go, those are all the clothes I own. Running and casual stuff. And uh, yeah, I think it's quite minimalistic in a way. And I like that because it just, you know, keeps my mind clear. I've only got minimal things. I only have what I need. I don't need 20 t-shirts. I used to be like that. I used to have a lot of stuff and now I've just come to realize, hey, you know, I only need what equips my life and the adventures that I need. And that's the other thing as well. I think it's really important. I have one thing I find is buying stuff that are multi-purpose, you know, maybe spending a little bit more money on something that can be used for, I don't know, a technical t-shirt, but also a casual t-shirt. Finding things that are multi-purpose rather than having one item for this, one item for that, and you need three different items, then one of them just sits in your wardrobe doing nothing. Okay, so I'm overlaying a clip from yesterday where it was really great weather, as you can see. And then today, well, look, it's snowing. There's snow on the car. <laughs> and that's the beauty of Finland. It can change just like that. Okay, so it's lunchtime and we've got some black beans and rice and sriracha and then also like a chickpea kale patty burger thing with some cucumber in some bread. Nothing fancy. This is like the lazy cooking from my behalf and when you know, when you're in the middle of doing loads of things, this is kind of like just throw something together. You don't even have to cook it. It just kind of like, well, you do have to cook the rice. Heading over to the shop now just to get a few little things. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll bring you with us. Well, yeah, here's one of the things. There's that old woman again. There's that old woman again. Welcome to one of the most 80s looking shopping centers. What's your thoughts? And for all of those people over in the UK, you guys might find this quite funny. I found it quite funny when I first came here. Like, Tesco's stuff. You find Tesco's stuff here in Finland. The uh, S Market Group, I guess they've made some collaboration or they buy stuff from them and you find loads of tin stuff with, uh, like, Tesco stuff. Like, for example, chickpeas here as well. <laughs> Organic Tesco's chickpeas. So there you go, you're coming on everyday adventures with me to the supermarket. How exciting. Not every day is out in the forest and off gallivanting around Helsinki on a bike. Uh, need to stock up on those foods so that we can make sure we can have those adventures though. And one thing I'm gonna try and start doing is making my own bread. I quite enjoy eating bread and 
just in these recent times like I've been trying to not go to the supermarket too often and it made me start thinking you know why don't you just buy flour uh, I didn't buy the flour <laughs> There we go, I go back to the shop. So, but why don't I start making my own bread rather than having to go to the shop every other day or something? I can't believe I didn't buy flour. Okay, this time we've got it. <laughs> now I've just got to learn how to make it. I guess that's gonna be the tricky part. Having all the ingredients is one thing, but uh, being able to make it is the other thing, so. Anybody's got any good recipe, good recipes, then let me know down below. So one thing that you do find here in Helsinki area or Finland, I think, and maybe in general, is that during the winter, obviously, there's a lot of snow usually and ice that covers the roads and everything, so it makes it a little bit more tricky for like construction. But in the summertime, in springtime, well, it opens up the windows, and sometimes it feels like any road and every road is always under construction so it's good that they're kind of like maintaining but it's just like a little bit frustrating sometimes if you're like walking or running or cycling in places okay just packing everything away and i love it like when things like this here like the these lentils, as you can see, it says vegan on it. I'm wondering, is it like, you know, well, yeah, these are vegan, which, yeah, no, whatever, they're lentils, but I mean, these days, sometimes you find like milk powder in the most odd of things. Or is it like they're like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. Oh, by the way, I'm vegan. Mm-mm-mm, look at these. Emma made some muffins homemade ones, and I'm pretty sure I'll be having a couple of them pretty soon. Well, someone's got to do the cleaning, don't they? Oh, gosh. Nothing beats a good old clean, eh? Well, apart from running cycling, being out in nature. Quite a lot of things actually then beat cleaning, don't they? But it does really help actually, I find, you know, clean environment that you live in, messy, you know, minimalist, whatever. Being clean as well helps keep you clean and the mind as well, in a sense, and keeps you fresh and feeling good. So I'm happy I did it, but now I'm happy it's over. So no, you're not seeing things wrong. Look, there's sunshine. We had snow in the morning, rain, and now like, look at this glorious evening sunlight coming into the apartment. But yeah, so I've not really been doing so much, to be honest, that was really worth filming. I've been doing a lot of editing on the video. I will do a video on my workflow because people seemed interested in that. Uh, as you say, I saw I cleaned a few things, cooked a few things, went to the shops. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this video and it's brought some type of value, just something to help pass the time whilst you're washing the dishes or something, I don't know. But really do appreciate you watching the video and well, we'll catch up tomorrow.